All right, number uh, six. Initially, I guess some thoughts were like HS or um, a pilonidal sinus uh, or like an acne convoluta picture. Great. Those are all, all great ideas because they're all things that give you kind of really robust inflammatory and reactive response um, associated with some cystic kind of process. So yeah, the, the key is in, in these kind of situations is the clinical and the location. This is the skin, the skin surface here, but we have this bulging overgrowth here where you have really reactive acanthosis of the epidermis. If we go and zoom in, like you mentioned, there's hemorrhage, there's reactive blood vessels, there's a loose kind of myxoid background. So this is basically granulation tissue with hemorrhage here. And then down deeper, there's inflammation and the granulation tissue becomes more dense and collagenized. So that's basically converted into scar. This is scar tissue. It's got parallel fibroblasts and prominent vessels. And then even deeper down, you begin to see some naked hair shafts that are in here. There's a hair shaft, there's a hair shaft. So this is a pilonidal cyst or pilonidal sinus or pilonidal sinus tract, uh, whatever name you like. I often will use pilonidal cyst slash sinus in my report when I sign them out because it's basically all on the same spectrum. And these are usually in the superior gluteal cleft, right? And one thing I think that's important to note is that even though the name cyst is there, I would say the majority of times I see these, I don't actually see a stratified squamous epithelial lined cyst that you can have them with the cyst intact, but more often the cyst has ruptured and all you've got left is basically this kind of vertical band of granulation tissue, scar, fibrosis, inflammation, sometimes with keratin debris and naked hair shafts, all embedded in it. And it's in the, the midline gluteal cleft, you know, right around the coccyx area. So that's, that's basically the way um, that I recognize these. And um, you got to have the right location. And then if you have granulation tissue and it's in that location and clinically they want that, that's probably what it is. Um, and like you said, there are other entities that can certainly have overlapping features uh, with this. If this were anywhere else on the body, I'd say, oh, probably it's just a ruptured cyst or ruptured hair follicle. And they've really, you know, manipulated and picked at it and gotten a lot of reactive kind of polypoid granulation tissue and reactive um, epidermal change over it. Okay, good job. So pilonidal cyst or sinus tract.